I'll try that one. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Rob Holman with Northwest Fishing. We got a fun show lined up today. I'm here with Brent Jones, part of the Jones Sport Fishing family. Dean Teagarden of Wigglefin. Hillary's here. It's gonna be a great show. Keep watching. Go do a little crappie fishing. Um, hopefully, we can whale some crappie. We'll probably get some perch, bluegill mixed in, maybe. Hopefully. So we're just around the corner from the CJ Strike North Park Air Force launch. Is that correct, Brett? Yes. Yep. So that wasn't a very far run. No, I mean. Uh, we're gonna check the hill first. Uh, see if there's anything on the hill. The hill hasn't really been loaded up this year. Every every now and then we get a pile of fish on it, but like last couple of years, it's been like the one of the main spots to to find uh, crappie at. So is this a year-round fishery? Yes. Yes. Um, during the during the winter months, we do a lot of vertical jigging. Uh, during the spring, we'll we'll do a little bit more pitching and casting at the bank for the crappies. Um, and then the, when the summer comes around, then we'll we'll start trolling uh, for a crappie, and that's that's a lot of fun. But uh, for the most part, you know, it's a lot funner if you can hook them under the boat versus uh, pitching or or trolling for them. But it's definitely an all year thing. Yeah. They're coming in below us. It's not that many, but that's a good good way to good way to start. It's looking better. Is yeah. that is it normally much bigger than that when they're schooled up? Oh no, that's pretty typical. Wow, it actually so that this that's a pretty thick school. It just changed my depth on auto. Which that doesn't need to be on auto. Okay, so are we right on top of them right now? Yeah, right on top of them. And that is a lot of crappie. Okay, okay, okay. So basically all we're gonna do is we're just gonna open our bale. As soon as that, as soon as that jig hits the water, rip it up and that's 10 feet. Oh, well, that was great. And it's on camera. Let's just get tangled up the very first thing. <laughs> So that was 10 feet. These fish are sitting at like 30, there's 20. And we're gonna swing off of them a little bit and there's 30. So there's 30 feet. I'm just gonna let that straighten up. They just boat here a little bit. Most of these fish are like right up there. Come on, come on, come on, boat. come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back on him. Back on him. Hillary, can you take a step forward? Yeah. Okay, so right there. Oh, there's a fish. Oh. Wow. Can we reel that on in? <laughs> on, wow. on, on cue. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I was going to ask you if we're going to jig these and how we're going to do it. And Yeah, pr pretty much going to jig them. So this is a black crappie. Right there, that's a black crappie. That's a pretty average size black crappie. Um, and we do have both species, black and white, in here, so. Awesome. But yeah, that wasn't too hard once we got on them, huh? No. <laughs> and this is a keeper. We're going to keep this? Absolutely. Most of all these fish we're going to catch at depth, and they blow their air bladder, and they just do not recover very well. So we'll keep every one of them, um, and, then, uh, and then take them home for tacos. <laughs> I like tacos, right? I like tacos. All right, so throw this back out again. Yeah. One fish, two fish, two fish. Oh. Okay, let's get you out of here. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
And then we're gonna start jigging, yeah? Yeah, pretty, but like micro jigs, like you just wanna pop it up about that far and then hold it still for like a two count. Like that? Yeah, and then. And then go back down and do it what, again? Well, do the motion of come you, up and bring it down. Can you show me? Yeah, yeah, just like this, just like this. We're gonna bring it down, pop it up, and then we're gonna hold it still. All right. For like a two count and then pop it up hold it still for like a two count and you, as you can as we can see on the fish finder we need to be just a little just a little lower right there and then pop it up bring it back down hold for a two count all right it should just be a pop thank you i have to make focus slightly again Yeah, fish are coming on you right now. Yeah. Yep, here they, here they finally show up. Make sure you fishy, give that a little fishy. bit more of a pause. Two count. Kind of deep. Oh, you devil. Okay, yeah, we should be we should be right on them. It's a nice thick little red line down there. A couple of good fish. They should be right on us. Ah, oh, they're gonna make they're gonna make me do it. They're going to make me do it. What are you gonna do? Oh, <laughs> smelly jelly. Uh, some of these pots keep fireballs. So you're gonna tip your jig? Yeah, just gonna put one fireball on it. And that's how that looks. Is this what we're using today? Yeah, those are, those are what we're using. Um, well, my buddy Jeff Fetters makes these rats. They're all custom made. Uh, just, Look at that tip. Uh, yeah, it's like a noodle tip. Um, they're designed just for vertical crappie fishing. The perfect little length. Um, they got a super, uh, super light tip on them. So like your guys' is, uh, uh, jigs are gonna be down, and then as soon as uh, as soon as the fish hits, it's gonna straighten that tip up a little. Okay. And that's a lot of times what we see, cause crappie feed up. Okay. So they're gonna come from underneath. Yeah, they're gonna come from underneath and hit it up. Okay. Yeah, a lot of times they'll just like wrench on it really hardcore sure but uh if they're in that docile state then uh then they'll just hit it up okay and then you got a little jig on here yeah yeah just a little tungsten ice fishing jig okay um, do you use these rods for ice fishing no, no no i use a smaller version of that rod that jeff makes same out what's jeff's company's name uh jeff that is uh Fetters custom Fet, yeah, rods. Fetters huh? custom rods. Uno. Dos. Trace. Yeah, you got a got a good pile at 30 and an even better pile at 40, but I'd rather go for the shallower fish. Come on, taco! Taco, taco, taco. Next dog I get, I don't know if I'm going to name it Taco or Kevin. Depends on if it's a Chihuahua. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do another pull out of that and go down to 40. My boat's for Taco. <laughs> My boat's for Taco. Ooh, here comes a pile of them. Just eat fish, let's go. Turn it up, turn it on. It's not like steelhead fishing, where you're just hoping that there isn't a couple fish in the hole. Oh my word. What is going on? Ooh. 
Oh, yo, you got him! <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> Ooh, got him! <laughs> <laughs> I might have you come back and fish down. Down this corner. Okay. That's just, uh, that. Hey, that, see that's a white crappie right there. That's pretty. Yeah. So the black crappie has black on it where? How can you tell the difference between the white and the black? Oh. oh. We'll uh, do a little comparison here. Um, so the black crappies, they got a lot of speckles on them. Um, and the white crappie, they actually have bars on the backs here. This guy doesn't have very defined bars, but the bars are usually pretty dark. Um, the white crappies also got like that, you know, UV flash type of like moon jelly color on them. It's like an iridescent yeah. purple. Um, yeah. and black crappies are a little greener too. So. Oh, that was a bite. Got him. All right. <laughs> All right, what we got there? Up, oh, another black crappie. Perfect. Another nice black crappie, about average size. That's a one taco fish. Mm-hmm. Taco. That's a pack attack. Yeah. Oh, I got a black. And uh. you got a white. <laughs> <laughs> Bada bing. Uh. So there's uh, Woo! There's some there's some points on yeah, that. There's some points there, some points on on the gills are pretty small, and then the, the points on the back. So you don't want to stick your finger in the gill there or grab them by the bottom here. Yeah, just gotta watch that. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just grab it from the head. Comb the hair? Yeah, comb the hair. Ooh, I like that. Combing the hair. <laughs> By Hillary Holman. Yeah. That's a beard brush. <laughs> Fired up. So let's so you, go ahead and we'll just start tipping every one of them. Yeah, because I don't have a, uh, a fireball on this one. Yeah. That one. Oh, yeah, the oh, there's, old white copy. There's some, there's some taco to that. Mm. Yeah, and like, you know, CJ, we don't have super huge crappie uh, like they do in the south, but, um, you know, we we get numbers. Yeah. So. so, Brett, why do you like the tungsten jigs? They're heavy and they get down quick. Um, and they give us that small profile still. Okay. Um, later in the year, when the water temp warms up a little bit more, we, we could get away with a bigger profile. Um, but this time of year, we want a small profile. Colder the water, the smaller the profile. Copy that. We want something small, but something heavy. So these are seven millimeter uh, tungsten jig. I get them from Amped Outdoors. More Northwest fishing right after the break. <laughs> oh, you got one! Oh yeah, dude! Ooh. Ooh. Mm, gotta get that rod. Put yeah, it on yeah. Look at that man! Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're fun though. It's a, it's a fun little fish to hook in. That's a nice white crappie. Bam! Yeah, man, these these rods uh, really make it a fun experience yeah. too. Add a little sporting element to it. Good sensitivity. It's a fun fight. Okay, so they're liking the little bit more aggressive jigging up and then pausing. That's when they're smacking it. But yeah, that's what we after right there. Nice white crappie. And most white crappie get like this black mark on the gill plate right there. But it's definitely not very defined. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Heck yeah! That one. Woo, look at it. Look at that rod go. Woo. Oh yeah! <laughs> You're fun. The taco. Oh, that's a two taco look, fish look, right look there. That's slabber. Nice one. Heck yeah! <laughs> I think I'm having a crappy day, but dude, so crappy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see how long that one was. Yeah, look at that one. Well, uh, that's worth the tape. We got 12 and 5 eighths. Nice. If anybody can read that. 12 and 5 sure. eighths. <laughs> Big fish of the day so far. Big fish of the day. At least two inches bigger than Hillary's fish. Whoa! See if we get another. <laughs> no, it's not bigger than yours. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, Brett, but you were right though. It was that uh, little pop, pop, pop coming up. Yeah. Pause. That's right when he slammed it. Yeah. <clears throat> One of our other guides out here was was uh, demonstrating that for me the other day, and it was working. And I was like, no way, no way. Well, way. Yeah. <laughs> Effective, huh? And just changing it up sometime, um, you know, can be the difference for you. Yeah, and they just bite super soft. Mm -hmm. Super soft. A lot of times you just gotta watch that rod tip. I'm gonna pull us along here for a sec. Sure. They disappear again. Oh, oh, I found them. You guys might want to reel up. We'll try that again. That get above them, uh, then stop in front of them and drop. I have no idea where I'm at, so... You're right on top of the fish, Brent. <laughs> I'm actually going to pull up and re-drop. Oh my god. I don't know where I went. <laughs> I usually can't see the stuff, but I was like way back there, and I'm like, how am I way back? Okay, just redo it. There's 20. Oh! Yeah, go ahead and stop right there. Oh man, he's in the thick. No pressure, Rob, but you are right in the middle Dude, of the am fish. I? Yeah, you're in the middle of 10,000 fish. I'm in the middle of 10,000 fish too, so I'm right there with you. Eat it! Come on, taco. Oh, the old steel head hooks in. There's a white crappie. There's one on over there, too. Oh, yeah, there's a little black crappie there. So it, it'll pick up pretty quick when you get into them. Yeah, whether yeah. it's doubles, triples. You said sometimes you got six fish on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it can be super fast. If they're moving around hardcore, then it, it can be a little difficult to stay on them. Right. But uh, if we're when we're on them, then, uh, then we're catching them. <laughs> oh, man, as soon as I got down there, I got bumped. That uh, that Potsky fireball is uh, definitely making a difference, I think, here, Brett. Oh, that's a nice black crappie. Oh, mm -hmm. we got another one on the other side of the boat. Doubled up. That's a double. See, that one's definitely a nice dark color. Yeah, you can really see the spot. Yeah. And the black crappie are thicker across the back, so you get like shorter fillets, but little thicker fillets on them. Gotcha. And I, I swear, the best taco fish if you like making talk, oh, that's a nice white crappie. <laughs> that, might, that might be the biggest one of the day. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, we'll measure it. Right <laughs> we'll measure it. <laughs> Just barely moving backwards, but yeah, we on them. Why would we go forwards there? I swear the old uh, the old Minn Kota's got a brain of its own. Ooh, somebody's in them. See that line coming? Ooh, bingo! 
That's me. Oh, oh, oh. What is? It's got a little different head shake to it. No, no, no. It's a black crappie. That's a that's a nice black crappie. Smack a cup of taco. Oh, taco! <laughs> <laughs> I've go, never been so excited people. about tacos in my life. <laughs> it's another taco. Woo! White crappie, baby. Mmm. Oh! Yeah, yeah, you got him. You got him. <laughs> Whatever it is, I think it's about two inches long. <laughs> oh! Oh! I guess it's still there. Doubled up. That is exciting. When oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be the record right here. I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Yeah! Hold it out! Hold it out! Hold it out! Hold it out. Yeah. Oh, there, we gotta make look it look the bigger. Look size of that bad boy. <laughs> Hugging going on. You think you got a sturgeon on there? No, I just got a giant slap. Oh, look at that. Oh, that. Over. Look at that. That's a big one. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's a that really is a nice beautiful one. fish. Woo. Wow. Look at that. We're definitely gonna put that one on the tape. That's gotta be 13, huh? Oh, well, yeah, 13 and, right, 13 and, we'll go 13 and a half. That is big fish. So that's a nice, that's a nice fish there. Taco pile. Oh, yeah, we got, love, I mean, we got tacos in the bag, we got tacos out here, we even got a taco ready to be fried up. That is a lot of tacos, and what a great time we had out there. Your round fishing opportunity, if somebody wants to come out with you for sturgeon or crappie or one of your other fisheries, how do they get a hold of you? The best way is just website, jonesboyfishing.com, um, but we're also on social media and stuff as well. That has links to the website, so it has our office phone numbers. So Yeah, so go on, follow them on social media. For Northwest Fishing, I'm Rob Holman. We'll see you next week.